Hello everyone, this is Mad Cat Z here, signing on, and I am playing EpiPen Tycoon. Why, you ask? Because I really like games that cover current topics in the news. In this case, there's been a lot of talk in the news about the price of EpiPens skyrocketing, and this game was actually brought to my attention for one for me to try playing. So this is probably going to be one of these games where it is horrible and I will find out how horrible of a person I actually am and probably how terrible of a CEO I will be. So let's get started. All right, there's me, the beginner story. You are Heather Bershid, the CEO of Myelin, the maker of EpiPens. Your shareholders want results. Your customers want to not die from anaphylactic shock. It's up to you to jack the price as high as you can go. Okay, time to be a miserable person. All right, someone bought my EpiPen. Cool, and my investors are getting pissed. Great, uh, okay, I, I guess I gotta raise the price, unfortunately. Oh no, new CEO, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Gotta make more money, gotta make more money. Okay. We'll, we'll set it at 100. 100 seems to be like a good balance. Oh no, they're getting pissed again. <laughs> oh dear, is this what it's like in real life to run a drug company? <laughs> your shareholders want your head. What? I, 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 I keep raising it and it's just like they're not happy. I mean, I am making a ton of money, but it's... just keep getting okay public's getting angry but right after that my investors get angry seriously <laughs> it's like they just keep getting more and more angry the quicker it goes can I just take a salary cut because it's getting kind of ridiculous Yes, 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 I know. They want more profit, is all they want. I have no clue what that thing just said, but I guess it was good. I survived a year, I suppose. Oh, I got a nice little... I got I got, a, got an upgrade to my little building. I no longer have a lemonade stand. I now have a building. Yes. But the price is continuing to go up, and I feel even more and more horrible because this is a medication that people actually need to live. <laughs> But I gotta keep making sure I have investors for some reason, because I guess we need to invest in ways to make more drugs. Oh dear. The music's nice, though. Blame Obamacare! Blame Obamacare for everything. <laughs> for the grades and prices, which probably isn't true, but... What do you mean the shareholders want my head? They always want my head, because I don't want to raise the price anymore. This is the problem about having medica making medication for profit, is you end up, because the problem with medicine is it's one of those types of items, celebrity endorsement, it's one of those things which um, doesn't have a, how do you say, it doesn't follow the normal traditional laws of supply and demand. It's one of those things that has an inflexible cost. So, people will pay as much as they can in order to not die, like these people are. They're going to pay the find a way to pay the $500 in order to save themselves from... Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. 25% off! <laughs> um, 
they're going to figure out a way to pay for this. And that's the horrible thing about having medic medicine for profit. I mean, yes, we do need... Oh, God, they're sending me heartbreaking letters. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I really, really wish I could... Fine, I'm, I'm lowering it. I'm lowering it. Here, I'll start giving them away for free. There we go. Nine dollars. Four dollars. Zero dollars. Happy now. Five dollars. Okay. All right. We can start raising the price. Okay. Well, I clearly my price just tanks because of total public outrage about this. But I took it until I almost was at $500 for an EpiPen shot. And... Where was I on my rant about publicize... Or about, not publicize, but uh, medicine for profit. Oh yeah, people are going to find a way to pay for the for whatever treatment they have, even if it means that they go bankrupt in order to survive. I don't care if I have to sell my vacation home. I want people to live. This is why I'm a terrible CEO for drug companies. I wonder if this has a stop or if this just is going to keep going and going. But this is actually... Yes, yes, yes. They want money. They always want more money. Why can't we just be, be like, go? Why Why can't we just help people? We're making, a, we're making a product that helps people so they don't die. In a pretty horrible way, if you think about it. Because anaphylaxis is not a good way to go. Oh no. What if I just let them get pissed off? So that people are going to start dropping like flies again. Oh dear, they're getting me more and more angry at me. More and more I raise it. I really don't care. I would like my private jet uses curtail if it means that people can buy more of my product. And you know, we don't end up killing off of our entire consumer base. Because you know, that's a pretty bad thing to do is to kill off your entire consumer base. <laughs> Really don't care about selling my vacation home. If it means that people can live. I mean, I don't need to be making six million dollars a year. Oh dear, people are dropping like flies. Call a senator! Yes, perfect! I will call a senator to, for some reason, <sighs> stop curtailing my private jet usage. You're making the public and my investors simultaneously angry at me. Ah, oh dear. People are dying right and left. Now we're at 500 again. Five ten. G. 
Jeez. Sorry, guys. Oh, dear. Stop having meetings. They're pointless. They just make the investors more and more angry. And more and more the public dies. And thus, we have less consumer base. Therefore, this is a terrible idea. Well, I'm definitely raking the salary money there. Wonder if I get a bigger building. Why am I even saying that? There are people dying on the other side. Six twenty, jeez. That'd be expensive. I'm going to be start charging like one thousand dollars for a shot. And it's all because the keep price keeps going up because my private jet usage gets curtailed. Or my vacation home is going to have to be sold. There is clearly a left-leaning bias in this game, clearly. Um, based on the warnings I'm getting. Hey, at least I know there's a left-leaning bias in this game, and I'm not blind to the fact. 700! Sorry, guys, I'm ripping you guys off. Seven twenty. As I quietly hear my investors starting to riot. Honestly, I'd rather hear them rioting than the public. Oh, and I swear more and more are dropping like flies. Yes, I know, I know. Ah crap 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 Quickly lower the lower it Okay public public the public outrage is going down the public outrage is going down Oh no Well I had a high there of seven fifty Okay, now I can go back to raising it. <laughs> I'm sensing there might not be an end game for this. <sighs> People are still keeling over. But it goes to show what happens when the public gets involved with drug companies and they get angry and they say you can't raise stuff that high. I mean, bad press is pretty bad for a lot of companies and it can lead to them going bankrupt. But also so is uh, your customer base dying. Considering that most of these people who need to get EpiPens have allergies that they have probably for most of their lives. And if it's severe enough to cause them to go into anaphylaxis, they're going to probably be a 
they're going to be one of those people who will need to come up with the $547 to pay for the pen. All right, well, why are the public getting really, really angry at me for? That was just like suddenly like the public's like, nope, ain't having it. <laughs> My compensation has been re is being reduced. I really don't care if it means that these people can buy the medication they need to survive. <laughs> I really don't care. Why do my investors care about me having to sell my vacation home? They really shouldn't, because that's my own private business. Dude. Again, investors, why do you care about my vacation home? Are you really wanting to buy it or something? I mean, just hit me up if you want to buy my vacation home. And I mean, if I can't afford a vacation home on a $9 million salary, I probably should be looking better at my finances and maybe coming up with a better budget. Uh, trying to make sure my investors get just enough outrage that it ends up going back to neutral. Because I'm reaching that point where I'm going to start pissing the public off pretty badly. Oh, for a second there, I'm like, did I hit equilibrium at $702? That was the magic number. Ah, oh dear. I really don't care about my compensation. It isn't gonna matter if we can't sell the product because all of our consumers are dead. I'm gonna keep repeating that throughout this whole thing. I'm curious to see if there is an end game. Like... Do I reach a certain point where I get like a bigger building or does it end saying that I'm a terrible person because that's kind of what I am right now is I'm a terrible person because I would rather be making $10,000 than actually providing the service to people who need it so they don't die. Because there's a line between making profit and a line between, you know, making sure we're doing something good for humanity and that people could actually survive. Alright, we're almost 800. And my investors are crying. 802. 
Let's see if we can make it to 900. It'd feel terrible that we're charging people that much for EpiPens. I'm actually getting to the point where if I actually raise it more, it's going to dip into the public thing and then they're going to get angry. Goes to show, the life of a drug maker CEO is a pretty hard and complicated one as you're trying to make sure your consumer base does not die while keeping your investors happy. Because for some reason, if you don't raise the price high enough for them to make enough money, then they get angry and want to overthrow you as CEO. Nine hundred, nine hundred two. Let's see if we can make it to a thousand, and feel even worse about myself. Surprise! The public hasn't gone bonkers yet. You know, I've mostly been getting um. My investors pissed off at me, which I guess is the best place to be in. Because then you just raise the price and the public continues to buy it for some reason. Yes, the shareholders want my head, as always. You know, they can have my head. Yes, yes, they want to hire a new CEO because I guess I will not raise the price more than what the public's willing to accept. Almost to a thousand. See if we can get to a thousand. One more click and I should get to a thousand. Let's see if I get a new building for it. Probably not. What? Oh. Didn't even get a new building? I'm charging these poor people a thousand dollars for life, basically? Is there an end game to this? Because I'm really, really starting to think there isn't. And that this is just going to keep going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Until finally, I can't keep my investors happy and they fire me. Because they're not happy with that much profit for some reason. Oh, I hit the mark where I got a bigger building and I hit the thing before it actually... Um, told me what it was. Because, you know, I gotta maintain the balance here. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, get angry. Oh, I got a bigger building now. And lots of people are dying. Put me under review, why don't you? You want these prices raised? You can go deal with the picketing, the public picketing outside.
I don't care. Reduce my compensation because I don't want to raise the price of EpiPens that high. Oh dear. I'm waiting for the public to get angry at me. Well, I think my investors are going to be in a permanent state of outrage, because if I go any further, I'm going to dip into the public getting angry at me. Goes to show I'm not a very good CEO. As I'm just smiling away. As I continue to raise the price of this life-saving drug. Because of its inelastic... What is it? There's a term for it. I can't remember what it is. Is it inelastic uh, demand? Or is it... This is a terrible game. Makes me feel like a horrible person. But hey, unfortunately this is probably what's going on in real life. Probably the CEO of Myelin is sitting there right now hitting this button constantly as their investors continuously get outraged and the public are continuously getting outraged. Raising and dropping the prices in order to maintain balance. starting to get into investors are turning red with anger because yeah pretty much everybody who's stopping by right now is keeling over dead except for a couple If I haven't already, I've probably created a very nice black market for EpiPens right now. As I continuously watch my consumer base die over there. I'm guessing there comes a point where if I hit it over there... It will trigger one of those other events that will cause um, the public to get angry. And it seems to be much easier to appease the investors than it does the public. Because with the public, you literally have to drop your price like dramatically in order to keep them happy. Which I don't know if that goes to show anything about that once you get public the public angry at you that they're harder to deal with and keeping your investors happier is just just throw money at them and they'll they'll shut up. Though I think you could probably do the same thing with the public. If you start throwing money at them, they'd shut up, but I mean I'd probably shut up if I got a ton of money. Well, still raising the price over and over again. Oh, 
I keep seeing the red blips show up every so often. But the thing is, is I'm pretty sure by now the public would have just went cuckoo bananas at this point with the price. Because, I mean, if I was paying this much for this, I'd be very, very angry. And I'm pretty sure that there'd be tweet storms and everything like that. Just because of the price it's at right now. But the public right now is just taking it. Killing over. Taking it. Yes. And I got a bigger building! Woohoo! Oh dear. I guess it's linked to my salary. Is what the building's linked to. So I'll just go in that way. Not the other way. Oh, they always want my head. I mean, it's a pretty nice head. You gotta admit. I'm pretty sure there's gonna come a point in this game where I'm not gonna be able to keep my investors happy. I'm just gonna be sitting here clicking the up button as they continuously get angry. And the public just sits there and takes it. This is... I guess this is part of the not realistic realism that comes with this game. As if this is really what's happening. But eventually, I'm pretty sure the public would just get angry with just the price it's at. I mean, if it was a two-packer, even that's still ridiculous. That's almost as much as some people make in a month. And even if it was covered by insurance and all that, that's still a lot of money. And talk about if, like, a lot of people needed this, the insurance premiums would start going up because of it. And maybe insurance would maybe stop covering it because of how expensive they are. Because that's happened before or in the past where they say this medication is too expensive, we're going to have to use something else. Um, because right now it's looking like maybe sending you to the emergency room is cheaper than g giving you an EpiPen. That would be a much cheaper and easier solution than trying to get a person to the emergency room. And it's a better solution, too. Because <laughs> they get the help right then and there, so they don't die before the ambulance gets there. Yes, yes, investors. Wonder what my next building will be at. As I build this building with the corpses of my former customers. I'm surprised there's like a crowd of my investors that just comes comes in from the right with like angry, unhappy faces.
Can I retire yet? I think I'm making way more than I would ever need to ever retire and live happily ever after. Of course, there's a pile of dead people outside of my corporation because they can't get the medicine that they need to survive. But at least I'm happy, right? So far, I think the moral of this game is that investors are assholes. I guess if I keep getting them angry... They start dropping my salary. Because I just noticed that. Not that I really care, because I'm making $23 million. And somehow I'm losing money. If they want to hire a new CEO, go right ahead. I probably got a golden parachute. It's probably made of real gold. I could sell it for probably about this much. And honestly, that's enough to live on probably for most of the rest of my life. Twenty-four million. Woo! Each million feels more horrible than the last. I think the music is changing. Unless it's cycled so many times that I haven't realized that... No, it didn't change. It just was... <sighs> My ears are playing tricks on me. As I'm being a terrible person. As more and more people just drop outside, dead outside of my company. You know, I maybe I should set up a uh, coffin and a burial service next door. I could probably make a killing as well. Since I'm that horrible of a person, clearly. Almost to 2,000. Whoa. This is terrible. Almost to 25 million. Maybe I'll get a new building to make me feel better. Cash out! Woohoo! Golden parachute, like I said. Woohoo! On my jet as corpses pile up around my company. And. Yep! Screlly! Of course, you would buy it out. That slob. Yep! Santa Barbara! Daddy, it's beautiful here, and what a lovely escape from it all. And not a bee in sight. I can't wait to get back soon. Zika has just had its start. Yep! Oh dear. Well, this was EpiPen Tycoon. A game where you play a 
balancing game between your investors and the public in order to hopefully survive as the CEO of the company. And in the process, you make the horrible choices to make pers people's life-giving medicine more than their monthly wage for a lot of people. And it's terrible. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed watching. This is Mad Cat Z, the world's worst person ever, and probably the maybe the best CEO at this point. Signing off. <laughs>